my home today for a cabinet refinishing 101 tutorial. Uh, we've had a few questions about Fusion Mineral Paint and I thought since I have a few DIYs in my house I would show you the process of how to do that. Uh, if you are here watching, please do post uh, a hello and where you're watching from. Um, I'm going to see if I can see the comments. All right, so um, as you can see, I'm using Fusion Mineral Paint products. I am going with a coal black, very classic. Um, I've done nothing but take the hardware off, uh, tape my cabinets because I am fast tracking this by not removing any of the ca uh, cabinets or drawers. Uh, and I have all my supplies in front of me here, so I will show you that. Uh, and again, if you're here watching, do please just post your comments a little hello. Uh, so if you are thinking of tackling the project yourself, um, it is easier than you think it is. I don't want you to be intimidated by this process. Um, and if you can hear me, please let me know. I've got, um, I'm connected to my headset here. Let's see, can you hear me? Post if you can hear me, that would be great. Let me just make sure that you can hear me. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm just assuming that you can hear me here. Uh, and if you can't, give me a thumbs up. Let me see here. All right, so you guys are checking in. Okay, I'm just going to post and see if I can see. Okay, awesome. Um, so I am starting with a starter set. Uh, it comes with a roller and some sandpaper. Uh, it also comes with a little one inch brush, which is great for cleanup. Uh, we have a few brushes. This is my favorite brush to use. Uh, it is the number 20 Style Meister brush. Uh, and uh, my TSP for cleaning. I've got my paint for painting. Um, and then I also have a zebra brush here, which is great. So the zebra brush is a two inch brush. It is really easy to use. Um, and it is less expensive than the Style Master, but you're gonna find that the quality of this brush um, is very, um, just easier to clean, um, and also the versatility in this brush for many other projects. So if you know that you're gonna be tackling a couple of projects, then this would be the one to, to purchase. Um, and then I've got some rags for cleanup. Uh, and then for finishing, on the darker color, I have uh, natural stain and finishing oil. So the natural stain and finishing oil is for darker colors only. So if you were going to go with a lighter color, like a white uh, picket fence or casement color, then you would use a tough coat. Uh, it's called a tough coat. It's a finishing coat, and that's water-based versus this natural stain and finishing oil, which is oil-based. Uh, so it gives you that extra added protection, which I always recommend when you're working in a bathroom or a kitchen where there's definitely splashes in water happening. Okay, so um, I'm going to start with step one. Step one is just uh, making sure that you do the prep work. So I've taken the hardware off. Um, I have emptied this cabinet. Um, and you can see that I've done some taping as well. So I don't know if you can see this little extra added I've taken painter's tape and I've added just like a little bit of a tab that leans over so that I can easily open up my cabinets without the hardware. Uh, that I found helpful when I was doing my kitchen cabinets. And so I add those to all my tabs. I've done it on the drawer there as well. Uh, I'm gonna grab the sandpaper that comes in the roller kit. Um, that I'm going to be using. I also have a 400 grit sandpaper as well, and that is for in between coats. Okay, so I have all of my supplies here with me. Um, there are some extra brushes, but I'm going to talk about those probably in step two. So, step one, I'm strictly going to show you the prep work and how to start painting your cabinets. Uh, starting with TSP. TSP is a concentrate, uh, so I have a mason jar here with water, and I'm just going to add a couple of capfuls to it, and it's that easy. It's going to last you for lots of projects, and I'm just going to give it a little bit of a shake, and then I have some red.
rags here. This is all organic, so I'm not worried about wearing gloves with this. Uh, you don't have to rinse it off. It's super easy, you just have to wait for it to dry. I am going to just dip, I don't know if you can see, dip my washcloth, my rag in the TSP, and I'm just gonna wipe everything down. So I clean it first before I sand, because I don't want any of that extra added, um, I don't know, dirt or grime to be ground in. So I just give it a good wash, and it literally is that easy. So you can see that my cloth is already turning uh, You can see all the discoloration and all the dirt coming off. And now I'm gonna make sure that I do wash the top edges as well. And of course, it's all in the prep work, so you really do wanna make sure that you're cleaning your surface really, really well. Sometimes if you don't clean your surface properly, that can actually interfere with the adhesion of the paint. And you want this paint to last as long as possible. So don't just clean with water. TSP is a degreaser, and it does remove all that extra stuff that you don't want on any soap residue. You have no idea what might be on these cabinets. And you can see that all that dirt and grime is coming off on there. So I know when I did my kitchen, I had to do it a couple of times. It was pretty gross. So I'm gonna wipe this. I'm gonna get you a little bit closer here and I'm gonna show you. Whoops, where am I going here? Don't need you guys to see in my toilet bowl. Um, you can see how my cabinets have all worn off. I don't know if you can see that or not. And that's just the wear and tear, which is why I want to repaint it. You can see that all of that um, has worn off. I've got some scratches. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, this is real wood. It's real wood. I can tell it's real wood. It's a real wood cabinet. Um, the front and the back are the same, and you can see where it's worn off at the core of that is wood. So that is always good to know the surface that you're painting before you start painting. Some bathroom vanities are made out of a laminated material, and so if you have a laminated material, you wanted to make sure that you use uh, what's called ultra grip. So you would clean, you would do your sanding prep, and then you would apply ultra grip so that fusion mineral paint can apply onto your surface. So it's kind of like a binding agent, which it adheres to the lamination and then the paint would adhere to the ultra grip. In this case, these are wood cabinets, so I don't need to apply that. Uh, it literally is just doing the proper prep work so that the paint has as best adhesion as possible. Now, Fusion Mineral Paint is a very durable paint, um, so it's a perfect application for this, for uh, any kind of cabinetry, do you have dressers, uh, side tables, anything, uh, any furniture really, which is amazing. Uh, and of course, usually we focus on DIY kits, uh, and this paint is perfect for that too. So, I've got coal black. Now I have used this before. One pint uh, is going to be lots, lots for this project. I've used a little bit on another project. And so I've got about three quarters of a pint here. So I'm just waiting for that to air dry. Um, I probably should have given it a little bit more time, but I'm just gonna go ahead just to make sure. If you have any questions about furniture refinishing, do please post them in the comments. I'm happy to answer any of your questions. And if you tackle something like this, I would love to hear your feedback um, or any tips that you might have as well. So this is already dried in the touch. You can see that it's actually turned a little bit of a matte color. So the degreaser will do that. This TSP is not a cleaner, it's a degreaser. So you don't wanna use it for every day. It's especially just for prepping for your cabinets. I'm just gonna make sure I don't spill. So most cabinets have a lacquer on it uh, as a top coat. And so you're gonna notice that the color is going to change immediately as soon as I start sanding. Um, it's going to turn like a white chalky, and that is very normal to see that. I'm using a 400 grit right now, um, but 
this sanding pad as well that comes in the Fusion Miro paint roller kit um, works just as great too, you can see. And so I always have on hand the roller kit and a paintbrush because I like to use the roller and the brush for this project. And as you see, um, I'll demonstrate why in a second. So it's just a light sanding, just enough, just to take that top coat off. You want the paint to be able to adhere to something. It gives a little bit more grit. And I'm actually going to cheat. I'm not even going to paint the back of it. Uh, let's see. Do you have to hand or have to wash off the TSP? With this in particular, you do not have to rinse off the TSP, only because it is the organic. TSP from Fusion Mineral Paint, uh, which I love about this. So other TSPs on the market, you have to wash it, you have to wear gloves, it's very toxic. Uh, this one here is not, like I said, it is organic. So you can just wash it, let it air dry, and then be done with that. So that makes it really easy to do that cleaning. And as you can see, it didn't take very long for it to dry either. So I'm probably sanding a little bit more than you need to. So I just want to make sure, I have a little bit of a beveled edge here, so I want to make sure that I do sand the edges of that too. And I find that the thinner sandpaper is easy, you can fold it in half and get into the grooves a little bit more. Um, you can see there's a little bit of a ring there from where the hardware was, so I'm just going to give it an extra sand there. I'm actually just reusing the same hardware so I don't have to wait too much. Or sorry, sand too much. And again, I took extra time on this cabinet. Um, it's a very easy process. And then I'm just going to use a rag and just dust it off a little bit. And again, you don't need to clean it off again. You just want to get all the remaining. So I see that there's like a little mark on there. I'm just going to stand that off. All right. And that was with the 400 grit sandpaper. So I think I am good to go on the first cabinet. And again, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to post those. I'm going to use my number 20 brush and I'm actually not even going to bother pouring it into the tray. I'm just going to dip it right into the pint. And where the troubleshooting starts is knowing how much paint to add to your brush. So I'm dipping the paintbrush just to saturate all the fibers in the brush and then just wiping off the remainder so that you don't have any drip marks at all. So super light. You want to make sure that it's saturated, but that you don't have too many drip marks on your brush. That's where you can run into problems with over applying your paint. If you over apply on your paint, then what will happen is it'll just be too heavy. It'll take too long to dry. And then also uh, when you go to apply your second coat, you're going to notice that you might have some brush strokes when you're sanding in between coats. So to eliminate brush strokes, that's why you don't apply over apply the paint on the brush too. So I always start at the bevel. And this is a small cabinet, so I'm not even going to use my roller for this. You're going to see that I'm able to move the paint around. And that panel is already painted. Do you see how easy that was? So I can already see that it's going to make a huge difference, me just adding a nice fresh coat of paint. So again, I just wipe all of the excess off on the side of the brush. And I'm just gonna open up the cabinetry. So now on this top part, um, in your paint kit, you also get a one inch brush. So that's great for picking up extra drip marks. I have not taped on the inside of the doors, but you can if you want to. I'm just gonna take the brush really lightly to the top. And it does actually apply a really clean line on the inside so you're not going to see uh, any drip marks at all. And I'm just brushing really lightly on the side. And I'm actually 
fact, you're not even going to worry about painting the underside of the door either. And I'm just going to give it a close, making sure that my tab is out. And so I don't want to overwork the paint at all. Overworking the paint um, will also create brush strokes. So you do need to make sure that you reapply as much as possible without over applying too much paint. And you can see I don't have any drip marks. And I always look after just to make sure that I haven't over applied my paint, that I've cleaned up any drip marks that I need to, those corners, you always want to go back. And I think that's good. That is my first coat right there. I'm going to bring the camera a little bit closer and hopefully you can see. That is my one coat, so it's super light. You can see the difference between the original cabinetry and the black. I didn't overwork it too much. There's no drip marks. And so this is the part that's the most difficult is waiting for it to dry. So it does have to dry uh, two to four hours in between coats. So I'm going to just move along through the process. If you have any questions of those, please let me know. I'm going to stop the camera right now. I'm going to take you to the next step when I'm ready for this second coat. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and finish some of the other cabinets so I can show you how to finish those as well. Again, I've got a link to Fusion Mineral Paint. They have so many beautiful colors to pick from. Uh, I'm choosing black. I'm very classic and uh, neutral that way, but they've got some beautiful colors to choose from. And again, some of the basic products that we use to just get to this step is the TSP for cleaning, super important. You need your sandpaper and choosing your paintbrush. The number 20 Stylemeister is what I've chosen. And then your paint color of choice. So I hope that's helped you uh, in showing you how easy it is just to start a refinishing project like this. Uh, and I will post the link to the second step when we're ready for that. Have a great day. Bye.